Hey folks, Lance Strider here, and today I'm going to be doing a mod review of the Camera Studios mod. And you can see that's what I'm using right now to record this intro, in this very nice panning effect. So yeah, you see traveling ended. Um, let's get right into learning about the mod. Now the mod can be downloaded from the link in the description, and you can open up the mod information by using the O key by default. I would like to note that if you have a conflict with your keys, uh, you will need to fix that before this will work. Um, I'm using the Feed the Beast Launcher 1.7 version pack with a few modifications uh, for this demonstration world. This is one of my play worlds. I just figured I'd use it for this. It would work out pretty good. So, and I wanted to show that the mod is available for 1.7. So, if you press O, you'll end up coming to this uh, Camera Studio Options. Let's go to the, look at the Global Options real quick. Uh, you can see where you can set the key to open the screen. Uh, language, I'm not sure what other Anglo languages are. English, French, and Auto. We'll leave it on Auto because I'm English. Um, I wouldn't understand it if it went to French. Uh, auto elastic time. Now, what this does here, and you can see the tooltip down here is pretty, pretty good tooltips included with the mod. And it will basically allow you to set the uh, time period for the day and night during a travel record. So, um, show the FPS counter. That basically just shows your FPS up here in the corner if you turn it on. It's kind of nice feature. So let's move on to, to the commands. Uh, the camera shortcut, this is the one I had to fix a uh, key conflict with this pack. Uh, there was another mod that was using the P key and until I took that and set it to a different key this was not working. So I did have to change uh, keys for the other mod or I could have come in here and changed this key. Basically you want to make sure there's no conflicts in your uh, keys. Uh, just quick experimentation and I figured out this. So the cam starts stop shortcut will start the predefined travel of the camera uh, that you set up. I'll show you how that works here shortly. Auto spline that's going to give you a nice smooth um, action between your different camera points uh, basically turning uh, it into a little bit of an arc, so, you know, adding some curve to it, making it more natural uh, flow of the camera. If you turn that off, I believe you get a very linear from point to point movement. Uh, auto stop video record, that should be self-explanatory. It stops recording at the end of the travel, the camera traveling. Uh, disable mouse input, basically so that you can't move the camera when you're doing a travel. Uh, send chat messages. This will send you a message uh, to your whole server if you're on a server, uh, you know, when the traveling starts and stops. Uh, if you're on a server and you don't want to disturb other people with your uh, Cam Studio messages, you want to turn that off. Um, but I'm on a single player, so it doesn't really matter. I want to see them. Periodic messages will show up messages on your screen telling you uh, basic information about, you know, how, how much time's left or how much time's passed. Um, overlay time left. Uh, yeah, Tooltip's pretty descriptive on that. Shows high as traveling of time remaining on the top left corner of the screen. Let's move on to the cam third person. Now this is the one that's really going to be of interest to most people. So cam third person on. Now this is the setting I use to record that little intro and I can uh, show you now that I have a nice uh, key for that set up I can you know see puts me into that other third person view and does the traveling I, I preset it to uh, 15 seconds so it remembers the last time I set it I can stop it you know prematurely with that same key and then um, so player view if I keep my player view that's actually going to, not as useful for recording, but it is very useful for seeing the path of the camera is going to travel because now I can see there's my cameraman. Hey, cameraman. 
and you can see exactly where he's going to be at for the duration of the travel and what he's going to be looking at. See how his head's kind of turning and facing me the whole time there, just facing this direction here. So not useful for actual recording, but very useful for determining your camera path, you know, so you can actually keep your regular view and watch your cameraman travel. So one more setting in there. Now indirect video, okay, when you turn this on, it's actually going to go ahead and record a video to a separate file. And uh, I should mention that for any of these to work, you need to get the dependency file for the video recording. So you need to um, you, get, you get two files from that from the from the page. There's the uh, the main mod file, which will let you have all the uh, camera control and stuff like that. But to do the third person recording, to be able to record a file separate, you know, by itself, and that is the lovely thing about this mod is it it can completely replace your need for any other re video recorder and I will demonstrate that here shortly but now if I do a start command you can see there he goes he has traveling and I've kept my position but now he's actually recording you can see up in the corner there it's showing a amount of seconds that he was recording he's recording 15 seconds worth of video because I set it to 1x and you see the little stutter there as it stops and saves it as an MPEG or MP4. Um, you can actually change the type of video that it records here. Uh, if you prefer this, uh, this is high compression. You can change to different styles of or different uh, formats here. MP4 is probably the best. Uh, you can also use other codecs. Uh, and this one right here is basically, it just records a raw video, very similar to the way that, um, to, to the way that Fraps works. Uh, and you can also do, change your video speed here, your recording. Now this is the other record shortcut. And if you uh, set up your audio record and your video record, you can actually uh, pretty much eliminate your need for Fraps and I am going to record a short video here see video recorded started so now I'm actually recording two different sets of video one from Fraps and one from the camera studio mod uh, that's gonna go into a different file but I will uh, probably go and delete those later because it's, they take up a lot of space especially on this format that I chose so uh, and when I choose when I do the uh, when I'm using this codec, I get no real stutter when I stop the recording because it doesn't have to do any compression. I mean, it's basically just recording raw video to the drive. So, uh, back to the camera third person, the video speed. Now, this right here, uh, this is what you're going to set if you're going to do some time lapses. So, um, pretty good speed for time lapses is a 10x. Basically what that means is it's going to record for however long you say. So say I want to do a, you know, I'm going to take 10 minutes to build something. I want to set my camera paths up. And then I'm going to say record. I'm going to use this command. Uh, cam start 10 minutes. And what that's going to do, I'm not actually going to use that. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to start recording but it's going to record at 10x so your final video is going to be a 10 times speeded up video so you're going to end up with one minute of video at 10x if you've recorded for 10 minutes and it's going to take that entire 10 minutes to travel between all the points that you have preset in your uh, for your camera so let's talk about camera points real quick so if we look at cam go to point one this is a uh, slash command it's not uh, so it takes me to point one so say I didn't like where point one was at I wanted it to actually be a little further over here and so I would go cam 
undo p1 first. I need to get rid of point 0.1 and then now I can do cam p1 and it will set a new point for position 1. Okay. If I want to clear all my points and just start all over, I can just do cam clear and it will completely reinitialize everything, get rid of all my points. So, and that that's how that works. So let's moving right along. Camera for some. I have not used this. Let's uh, set up my points again real quick since I, I cleared them. We'll go. I'm just gonna use the P key. I'm gonna look up there. I'm look down here. So there, I got uh, three points set. Let's see what this does. Turn it on. I want to. Uh, we'll, we'll do do it like this. So I can start it. Okay, that is neat. It shows an interesting. Wow. Okay. So cool. That's going to show you your camera point of view. Um. Oops. I'm going to add an extra point. That's okay. You can look. Watch him. He will. <laughs> Oh, that could be very useful. So if we go, uh, let's do cam start 15 seconds. I'm not sure what the default time was. It looked like it was 5 seconds. So there he goes. And then if we get outside of it, we can actually see the camera. If we're inside of it, we can only see his face. But that is interesting. Cool. You can see exactly where he's looking at what was what is going to show up in the frame of the product. So now when you have this setting, you're not really recording anything. Um, to do the indirect video record, you have to actually turn this on. And let's just go ahead and do one of those. And we're doing a 10x, so this is going to be like a ridiculously short time of seconds. So I did 15, so it's actually only going to record a second and a half of video, but it's going to zip around. I will throw that into the video when I edit. And let's see, what else can I show you about this mod? Uh, camera roll. This is pretty neat. So you want to do some special effects, you want to do some roller coaster stuff. There's this, uh, you can set up some keys that will allow you to tilt your camera. And it's pretty cool. And then um, Auto there. You want make make sure you set up a key for the uh, uh, to to, to recenter it. So uh, something I was doing I thought was pretty cool the other day. I was messing with this. Um, go down a tunnel. Ooh, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can roll your camera. I don't know if you can use this setting in the third person stuff but it does uh, make a lot of uh, things possible. Like I said, you do some roller coaster stuff, you could do some um, Temple of the Doom stuff, you know, all kinds of things you could use in your uh, to record different things using camera roll. Um, get back up out of here. Do time set. Put it back to daytime so I don't have to worry about mobs interrupting my video. Uh, let's see. On to the next thing. Sensitivity. That's just going to speed up how fast your camera turns. Uh, you can see I set different keys. These, are, these by default have no key set to them. So I've actually gone in and, and set them. So uh, Video record. Okay, this is the record shortcut. This is different from this because what this one does is it's going to stop, start and stop your point-to-point -point travel camera. That's the ones you set up with points. This is going to be whatever key you want to just start and stop regular recording. Um, similar to like if you set up a key for uh, for fraps to start and stop recording, it's going to be like just like that key. So when I press that key, it starts to record. Um, I'm going to press it again, it stops. So when I press that key, it starts to record. Um, I'm going to press it again and it saves the file. Not too big of a deal. Um, 
not too much more explanation I can give for that. Uh, your video frames per second, this is going to be what it uh, renders into the video. Video speed, if you want to make a um, if you want to, you want to make it more like a, a you know, a, t a time lapse, fast forward type thing. Uh, it's still going to record it at 30 frames a second, but so if I uh, put it at 5x, start a recording, and then run around my base. Sorry about that. I had a sneeze. I kind of suppressed it. And then run around my base real quick, and I will include this video uh, in the in the edit. Uh, you'll see that it should be like five times faster at, while moving around. It's probably going to make it ill because I'm not being very smooth with my uh, position. And but anyway, that is that's how that all works. On to the next thing, uh, Kodak. I already kind of talked about that before. Uh, this is the one you want to use if your if your system's not real beefy, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, if you've got plenty of system and you want to compress and save file space, you'll want to use this setting. Uh, this will let you sh would let you see where it's actually saving the uh, videos in the what directory. And you can probably and you can change it here. Like if you want it to save in the same directory as your, um, say your Fraps folder or whatever, whatever folder you. Multi-thread. I have no idea. What's this? It's smoother FPS. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that one to somebody else to figure out because uh, I'm gonna use it. I have a beefy computer, so. I should be okay with it. Now here is where you want to you know, you'll want to set to set this so I can either have my front mic um, none, which is what you're probably going to want if you're doing time lapse, uh, and primary sound capture driver, uh, which is uh, what I was using to pick up my voice when I was using it as the uh, standalone recorder. So um, front mic would have probably done it just as well. Although I was hoping to get the gain sounds in to my videos as well when I was using it as a standalone, so I believe that is about as much as I can tell you about this mod. It is a great mod. I hope you will uh, download it. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, review of this mod, and I will have a demonstration video of the time. Actually, I should I should do a quick demonstration video. Well, no, I've got the a couple that I made during this that I will include in the edit. And then I'm going to be using this in a bunch of more of my videos in the future uh, in my Let's Plays, you know, for large builds and stuff. Because, let's face it, this is going to be able to turn um, large, time-consuming builds that would be relatively boring to watch you do block by block. And you can set up the camera and turn those uh, hour-long builds into a few minute time lapse and they will look amazing so hope you enjoyed the mod hope you enjoyed my video if you did like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and I will catch you later